doing a GIMP tutorial. First of all, you need a little program I like to call, well, everybody calls GIMP, right there. Just to open it up. Um, wait for it to load. Let's just minimize that for a sec. Okay. Here's your toolbox. Don't mind this, it's my magnifier. Okay, um, first what you want to do is press File, New. Just press OK for now. Okay, this is the... What you want to do is get the paint bucket tool. Make sure the foreground's on black and just go black on it. Now, switch. Get your text. Type in whatever you want. I'm going to write DMT Killer. Close. Okay. Now you're gonna go to your your properties of your um. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. One second at tab. Okay, whatever. So you're just gonna make it bigger. Change the font. I'm gonna change it to my favorite right there. Okay. Color we want it to be in orangey. There we go. Now we're just gonna go to our layers, right click, alpha to selection. You're gonna go press the ellipse tool. You're gonna go to the properties. Right now it is on replace current selection, but you want it to press intersect current selection. So there we go. Get your paint bucket tool. It's because of the white. Alright, press select none. Alright, now you got that little two way colors. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the layers. We're going to right click alpha 2 selection so you get you select the, this layer now you go to select grow uh, let's do three pixels I like three pixels now let's change the, this the foreground color to white and we'll zoom in for this so you can see better as you can see there's a little gap in between the letters itself and the marching ants. So you're gonna click in between that and voila. So select none and you got th this cool type of font right here. Okay now I'm just gonna use the perspective tool which is right there to make it look a little bit you know, a little bit cooler transform there now um, thanks for watching um